What's up guys, Justin here with thesketchupessentials.com. So in today's video, we're gonna talk about how to use an extension in order to quickly create like a louvered shape inside of a window. Like if you have a bunch of like shade pieces or something like that, let's go ahead and just jump into it. Okay, so this is kind of the inspiration image that I'm using. Um, it's off of Pinterest and basically what it is is it's a window, but it's got like, uh, it's got a bunch of uh, intermediate framing pieces across the window like this. And I wanted to show you a quick way to do that using an extension in SketchUp. So first off, what we're gonna do is we're gonna model the window, which is fairly easy. Um, what I've done is I've roughed out this shape right here, and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna make a copy of this. And that'll get important in a minute um, because that's gonna be what we're gonna use in order to cut, um, in order to cut the framing that goes in the middle of this. But what we wanna do is we wanna start by just dividing this up. So I'm just gonna right click and do a divide, and that is going to split up our bottom piece like this into some equally spaced segments. Well, once we do that, we can draw some edges in here like this, where all those edges are, and we can use an extension called Lattice Maker in order to quickly create our glass, right? And so in this case, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna add some intermediates, and the intermediates are probably gonna go maybe about here. Um, and actually, we're just gonna add one intermediate. But you can download Lattice Maker from the Sketchication Extension Store or Plugin Store, and I'll link to that in the notes down below. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna select this go to extensions and run the extension Lattice Maker. And what that's gonna do is that's gonna come in here and that's going to allow us to um, create the mullions and then also the glass material. And we're gonna go ahead and leave these as is. If we don't like it, we can come back and change it. But in this case, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna select, uh, probably doesn't matter, we'll go with gray for right now. And I'm just gonna set my pane material to glass. And so what that does is that comes in here and that quickly creates this uh, this lattice for our glass. And um, these are maybe a little bit thick, so I might come back in here and run this with those maybe at like one inch. So I'm gonna run Lattice Maker, one inch wide. Uh, we'll go ahead and leave the depths and everything else. I'm gonna set my pane inset to half an inch. We're gonna click on OK. So I think that looks a little bit better. now. What we wanna do is we wanna add a bunch of intermediate framing in here. And one other thing that I might do with all these lattice pieces is I might actually come in here and select them all. And I'm going to right click and I'm gonna do a select all with same material. And I'm gonna replace that material with a wood or a brown material. So in this case, we'll just go with uh, something that looks like wood. So we'll go with this material right here. Okay, so now what we wanna do is we wanna model our intermediate framing. And for me, the way that I wanna do this is I wanna draw a line from the top here down to here and I wanna divide it again so I can come in here and I can um, basically create these um, equally spaced, right? So we're gonna say that we want our spacing to be about as close, as, four, as close to four inches as possible. Okay, and so I've got this edge divided in here. Now what I wanna do is I want to draw the profile of the shape that's gonna be in here. And I don't want this to be very thick at all. I want this to be maybe like a quarter inch or something like that. These aren't gonna be very big louvered pieces. And I'm just gonna push pull this across over to here. I'm gonna push pull it across over to here like this. And we might push pull this in ever so slightly, maybe like a 16th of an inch or something like that. You could also move it. And then I'm gonna take this whole thing and I'm gonna select it. And I'm gonna deselect the edges that are in here because I don't want those. I just want this to be a louvered piece. So I'm gonna right click, I'm gonna make this a group. And what I might do is I might move this back like a 16th of an inch. So nothing big, just enough that I'm not getting this Z fighting in here anymore. So I might type in 1 16th. Okay, so then what I wanna do is I wanna put all of this geometry in one group, right? So I'm gonna double click in this group that I created, and then I'm gonna select this whole thing. I'm gonna make some copies. So I'm gonna use the move tool in copy mode and copy this up. And notice what I'm doing is I'm just repeating this raw geometry inside of this group right here. Then I'm gonna type in times and a number of copies. So I might type in like 20 or times 21, just like this. Okay, 
So what we've done, uh, let's go with 20. So times 20 and hit the enter key. So what we've done is we've created this group of geometry in here um, that's running through our object. Well, now what we wanna do is we wanna use a tool called Curic Face Knife. And so you can download Curic Face Knife from Curic's website, and I'll link to this in notes down below. It's basically a tool that allows us to cut objects using faces. And so what we wanna do is first off we wanna save. You always wanna save before you use this extension just cause it's doing a lot of like geometric type stuff. Okay, well remember what we did is we left this face right here. So what we have is we have a group that's full of all of this geometry right here. We might do a control A and go ahead and apply a material to it just so it matches. But we've got this group that has our raw geometry in it. And then we've got a face that's right here. Well, what we wanna do is we wanna select our group activate Curic face knife. And what that's gonna do is that's gonna ask us to select a face like this. When we click on that face, what that's gonna do is that's going to use that face in order to cut our geometry. And you can go ahead and hit enter in order to do that. Well, notice what that did is that came in here and that sliced all of this geometry so that we now have this nice louvered look directly inside of SketchUp. All right, so that's where I'm going to end this video. Um, if you're looking for more information or more extensions, make sure you check out my ultimate extensions guide, which I've linked to on this page. But as always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this, and I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.